What's going on YouTube? Roxas D to Terra here, and today we are bringing you some Pokemon Showdown Battles. Okay, you guys, we have jumped to the, well, jumped down technically, we didn't like jump up or anything, we jumped down to the UU format because we are using a Mega Sceptile team. Not to say that we, I can't use a Mega Sceptile on an OU team, but um, I kind of want to downgrade a little bit, uh, take a little break from OU. OU's been crazy, we've been in OU for a very long time now, so I just jumped down a little bit, get going in, going into the um, UU tier. Um, I was going to use the team in RU tier because it's primarily a RU team, but looking at the Pokemon in my team, I realized um, some of them can't partake in RU battles because they're you. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but yeah. So we're going to use this in a UU format uh, team. So as you can see, we have our Mega Sceptile here. Um, yes, Mega Sceptile has been featured on my channel before. That was my brother's team. In the beginning, I had no team for it. He made a team, and I thought it was pretty good. His team had a little bit of... Uh, crazy. It has some crazy uh, Pokemon on it. Like he has a lot of special attackers. He needs to. He needs to. He needs to add a little bit more um, physical attackers. So this is my team, and it's not an OU team. His one was an OU team. So his one had a little bit more crazy, aggressive, fast things as you guys see in uh, OU very often. So well, I have a couple of fast things on my team. Of course, Mega Sceptile being one of them. Uh, Jolteon. Um. My main shout, and that's about it. Everything else on the team is still like the other three Pokemon shows. So, Mega Step is leading the team. We have Mill Tank here, who's going to be our physical wall. And our special wall is going to be our Forges. Um, one of our main physical attackers are going to be Main Shao. Um, one of our main special attackers are going to be Jolteon. And our last um, physical attacker will be Escavalier. The thing with Escavalier is that it's primarily here just so I could avoid um, poison damage. Uh, fairy damage and stuff like that so ho hopefully it works out it's an okay team it's just like you'll see in this battle what what <laughs> this battle is ridiculous because I didn't notice some certain things about my team before I went into battle so make sure you always pay attention when you're making a team you guys so let's go we're gonna get right into it okay so I led with main shot because obviously it's gonna be with Galvanic and Septic who have just another weakness of my team I don't have a spinner or a um, defogger so I have to work on that so I go for the fake out and of course Galvanza outspeeds me. I for some reason thought I outsped him. Um so he gets flinched and it goes for the sticky web. I'm like, uh I mean the only one that's really suffering from this is mainly I guess the main show. And Sceptile obviously. And Jolteon, the three fastest Pokemon team, but his team is relatively slow, so I wasn't really too concerned. So he goes into his um Weezing. I finished off his Galvanza with a high jump kick. And Weezing obviously is going to tank anything I give it, so I go for the U-turn right away. Um, honestly, when I was thinking, I was thinking he would go for a Sludge Bomb or a Willow, so I just went into Cling to Life, my Jolteon. Yes, her name is Cling to Life. Don't ask why. So I automatically assume he's going to go into his Dawn Pad, so I go for a Shadow Ball. I am Spec, so I'm Choice Spec Jolteon. Um, he goes for the Sludge Bomb, like he didn't switch, so I'm like, okay. And we took that Sludge Bomb relatively well. So we know he's not too invested in special attack. Shadow Ball does go off, and then he does switch into Florges. So if he knows, if he's playing, if he's pretty much paying attention to my team, he could see that basically I went for Shadow Ball and I switch. So he knows that Shadow Ball is basically, I'm locked in the Shadow Ball. So I switch into my, no selfie for you, my Escavalier. And he goes for a Moonblast, and it almost kills me. I'm like, why is it almost killing me? And I'm like, oh, it's level 50. I didn't make sure it was level 100. All right. So he goes for a Moonblast again, and it knocks me out, obviously, because I'm level 50, he's level 100. So there's no, <laughs> there's no surviving a Moonblast like that. Um, I send in Miltank at the right level. So we're okay with this. Miltank is in. No tank is not a special defense wall, but it can have some special defense, and but it has a tremendous amount. It does have a tremendous amount of uh, HP, so special, especially special hits it could take. Um, I go for the body summon of using because he switches out. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna stay in and try to get a power hacks on him. I go for the stealth rocks. Um, I'm expecting the willow, obviously. So he goes for the willow, he burns me. I really don't care. I run toxic on milk dud because she is tanky, so she could saw someone out. Just in case, I don't really like the Scrafty because I'm afraid of Shed Skin Scrafties. I've had too many close calls with that. Um, I go into Cling to Life. I'm like, maybe he'll go for something else. 
and he goes for the sludge bomb. He gets, he snags the poison. And I'm like, uh, I might as well go for thunderbolt because he's not switching in his, um, his down fan at any cost. So I go for the thunderbolt. He switches, and I'm just like, I hope it's not down fan. Those are the forges. I'm like, okay, go for the t-bolt, choice vex, stab. That does a tremendous amount as well, and I'm just like, ooh, I wish I got a para hacks right there at least. So he is has he does have the flurs. I predict him to go for the protect, so I'm gonna just double out so I don't die from the um poison damage. And I go into my Florges, and I look at Florges level, I'm like, oh my lord. Florges is level 50 as well. Flower, my Florges. Uh, so I'm just like, oh well. Better hope I take the hits well. He goes for a toxic. I'm like, oh, okay. That's not so bad. So I go for the aromatherapy, healing my milk dud and my jolteon. And cling to life. I'm gonna change cling to life. Cling to life is a reference to Naruto. I don't know if you guys watch Naruto, but it's a reference to Naruto. It's Itachi when Itachi told Sasuke to cling to life. <laughs> I don't know why I call it that. I just thought, like, I don't know. Jolteon's a very intimidating Pokemon. Not many people notice, but it's power. It's powerful. Um, its speed is ridiculous. Anyway, he switches. I go for the Moonblast. He takes it very well, even more so because I'm level 50. I'm just like, ugh. And I have to switch my levels back, you know? I gotta switch my levels up. Um, what's my sludge bomb? I switch into my milk gut here, and we take it relatively well because we have HP. Um, I'm expecting him to either willow me again or just try to get a sludge bomb off on me and get toxic. So I go for the body slam, trying to get a para hack. Um, as I as I'm facing um my opponent, I notice that that uh, sticky web isn't really doing much for his team on my side. So I'm like, you know what? If anything. I'll probably still outspeed a lot of things on his team with fast fast Pokemon that I have because they're all his team is relatively slow. So he goes for another sludge bomb. And I'm keeping this in mind, so I'm like, hmm. And I have a body slam, he has black sludge on, so he's recovering steadily and I have leftovers and burns. I'm like, I'll go for a milk drink. I have not revealed a milk drink until now. So I was kinda hoping he'd think I'd switch just for some unknown reason. I don't really know why I thought he would think I would switch. <laughs> I really don't know. Um so yeah, I go for another body slam, I and mean, he's just sitting there sludge bombing me, I'm like, he is eventually going to get me, because I have burn. And I'm like, I had to go for a body slam there, because I didn't want to waste any time. So I go down after my stealth, my um, my leftovers recovery. Wasn't enough, so I get burned out. Fucked up faints, I'm like, uh, she did a really good job though. Okay, so I go into Soul, and I look at Soul, and Soul is level 50. My Mega Evolution is level 50, so I'm just screaming in my head. I'm like, oh my god, I'm not going to win this. How am I going to win? He sludge bombs me, and crits me, and down I go. I'm just like, typically, Sceptile would not get outsped by a Weezing, even if there's a sticky web, because I would have had more investment than him. And I'm just like, welp. I told the guy, welp, GG. My, my Mega was level 50 as well. I'm so sorry. This battle was ridiculous. I have, n I have no hope at this point. Look at his team. I honestly have no hope. He goes into Forges, and I'm just like, I'm going to keep going for Thunderbolts at this point, because I don't think he's going to switch into the down fan. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my oh my god. And seeing Jolteon um, come out like this, and go for Thunderbolts, and I go for another Thunderbolt with Sticky Web, I'm like, dang. Definitely, Soul would have definitely outsped that Weezing and bopped it with a Dragon Pulse. He went for a Sludge Bomb. I'm like, why would you go for a Sludge Bomb? If you have a fairy on your team, I was definitely going for I was definitely gonna go for a dragon type move. Cause I wasn't gonna lose much from it. Just the floor just would come in, I could just hit it again with a leaf storm. Anyway, I switch into honey after my Jolteon faints. Goes into his wheezing, I'm just like, oh my lord, if I had my level 100 septile, this wouldn't have been a problem. So I go for the fake out on wheezing. Just to try to get some more damage off. It's not really doing much. I'm just like, at this point, I can just go for high jump kick. And I high jump kick him in the face. I'm just like, yeah, go down. I don't care if you resist. She's level 100 just like you. So she's honey. It's going to take everyone out. Hopefully. I'm just like, oh, stealth rocks. I'm like, ooh, Donphan doesn't have 30. I'm like, ooh, maybe I can high jump kick and kill it. So I'm like, you know what? First, let me U-turn and see what he goes for. So I now I see I, I definitely outspeed a Donphan. So I'm like, okay. I mean, I should because even if it's one sticky web, it doesn't ma it doesn't matter. Normally, my floor just would live an earthquake from a down fan because you know I have a nature that increases defense and I invest HP. So I was just like, well, down goes floor just because you know it's level 50. So I go back into my uh, main shell and I'm just like, you know what? I have nothing to lose. I'm gonna go for a fake out and I got a crit fake out. I'm like, ooh, okay. So I'm like, let's see if I can j knock him out with a high jump kick. So I go for a high jump kick here. And the Donphan falls, and I'm just like, what? 
And I look at the rest of his team, I'm like, wait a second. I think I can actually win this, thinking about his team. Then he goes into Forges, I'm like, ooh, oh, but guess what? You can't take me out. I'm predicting him to go for a Protector, but he does not go for a Protect. I go for the Aura Sphere because I do have a naive nature on this. So I just go for the Aura Sphere. I'm just like, mm, maybe this will work. And I hit him so he doesn't go for the Protect. I'm like, oh my god, I think I might win this. And I go for a high jump kick on Scrappy. And I outspeed, obviously, because it wasn't heavily invested in speed. I was like, okay. So that's all his Pokemon down, except for Porygon. I'm like, Porygon is so bulky. But I'm like, I'm Life Forge Stab, high jump kick with 100 and something base high jump kick. I have Stealth Rocks up. I'm like, all I gotta do is high jump kick and see where it takes me. And I get a, <laughs> I just knock him out. <laughs> and I'm just like, what is going on? And I'm just like, what is going on? How did I win with like three Pokemon that have level 50? My Escavalier was level 50. My Fortress was level 50. And my Mega, my Mega, mind you, my Mega was level 50. So I'm just here like, what? I just, I can't believe, it. I'm, I don't know what to say. I'm just like, honey's a beast. Honey's a beast. All right, we have um, we have another battle. Um, <laughs> I was just like, I don't know what the heck is going on with that battle after that. Happened. I was just like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I was so hyped after that battle, but I was like, I love my team, but I was like, I just need to figure out something what to do with the uh entry hazards because that that is a thing. So we see this Mega Beedrill team, and I'm just like, there's threats everywhere. I feel like the lead obviously would be the Cloister, or even the. Okay, the most obvious leads. All right, like the thing is with his team is that I'm, I'm mumble jumble over here because the thing about this team is that you have he has so many leads. He can lead with Beedrill, he can lead with Cloister, he can lead with Ambipom, and he can lead with Infernape. So I'm like judging by his team, I think a, my best lead would be someone that could have some switch initiative, like somebody that could fake out. Um, and at this point I'm just like I don't know, I might as well try to lead with Mage out because she wouldn't she wouldn't really be taking the most damage if anything. So I decide to leave with Ami. He decides to leave with Ami Palm. I'm just like, all right. So he leaves with Ami Palm as I thought. So I'm just like, I'm gonna start with selfie, no selfie for you. And the only reason why I did that is because I'm like, the most obvious lead is Ami Palm. So I just led with that. I was about to lead with Main Style, and I was like, no. I told myself leave with Main Style, and then I was just like, you know, I'm just gonna leave with Escavalier. And he goes for the fake out. He goes for the uh, knockoff. He knocks off my muscle band. I go for the knockoff on him. Now what I'm actually trying to do here is go for the counter. He goes for acrobatics. Uh, which is actually funny because I went for knock off and I didn't knock anything off because Abby Palm has acrobatics, so I didn't notice that until now, which is really interesting. Anyway, the knockoff goes off and he has Abby Palm faints. Cloister comes in. And I'm just like, why are you sending Cloister? He goes for the flamethrower. I'm just like, okay, that's definitely not Cloister. That's the that's the Zoto arc. And I'm just like, oh my god, that was a good play. I mean, I didn't really need um, Escavalier that much for this team. For his team, um, it would have done really well against his um. Mega Beedrill, so I throw in my soul, seeing as how I get a free switch. Throw in soul, get a Dragon Pulse off, bring Zoda Arc down to two, reveal itself. He, if he goes for a Flame Door, I know I'll live it, because I am neutral to that now, because of my um, Dragon Typing. So that is neutral on my Mega Sceptile at this point, so I'm just like, okay, this is good. Now, I misplayed greatly here, because I went for Leaf Storm when I should have actually went for Giga Drain. That's a misplay, because most people use Cloister with Focus Sash. Shell Smash. Focus Sash, Shell Smash. So I should have actually went for the Giga Drain first, got my HP back, let his, sa let his Sash go off, then switch out and go into Milk Dud. So I go into Milk Dud because I obviously could take any hit from this thing. I honestly didn't really think that. I just felt like I could. So I went into Milk Dud because I have Thick Fat, and I just thought that, you know, I've never used a Milk Tank this much. But actually, this is my first time using Milk Tank. I've never used Milk Tank competitively, so I was like, I want to try it. It's Oh my god, Miltank is just eating up the hits from a Shell Smash Cloister. He then go for he then proceeds to go for Rock Blast after he saw the uh, damage, the amount of damage I did. I take that very well, relatively well with the Rock Blast. I'm like, okay, Rock Blast did a little bit more, so I'm gonna go for a Stealth Rock here. And I'm like, okay, he could definitely finish me off with a Rock Blast if he if he gets a crit or so. And probably he could, I don't know. So I stay in and he goes for Razor Shell. I'm just like, what? I go for a milk drink. I'm like, why would you go for a Razor Shell? Maybe he wants it a crit? I have no clue. I get that milk drink off, and I'm just like, oh my goodness, that was a bad play. So I got Stealth Rocks up, and I'm happy. He goes for Icicle Spear, I'm just like, mm, why would you go for Icicle Spear if you just not use Rock Blast, and you saw it did more damage? Very odd. I then go for Body Slam, I proceed to go for Body Slam, and I knock out his Cloister. I honestly wanted to go for like a milk drink there as well, just so I could um stall him out. I doubt he would switch, because if he switches and comes back in, it's going to die. 
Take goes into his friend Ape. I definitely predict the mock or the close combat. I don't really predict the mock because close combat seems more better. So I switch into my Florges, who is now level 100. <laughs> so the mock punch does go off and he gets a crit, and I'm just like, ooh, we ate that up. Um, we do have Moonblast. So, and he is Life Orb. He goes for the Poison Jab, and I'm just like, Poison Jab in front of my hand. I did not expect that. Now that I know he is um, definitely Life Orb, I proceed to go for the Moonblast, and then I go for the... Um, what did I go for? I believe I went for Protect. Yes, just to get some more recovery. Now, in scenarios like this, I wish I had my Escaval here, because then he'd be forced to go for like a Bullet Punch. I mean, not a Bullet Punch, a Mach Punch or a Close Combat on Escaval here or Fire Move. And then risk losing his Infernape to recoil. He can't switch because if he switches in, he's going to die by Stealth Rock. Anyway, he proceeds to go for another Poison Jab and Life Orb recoil. Takes him down a little bit more. Um, I go into Soul and I'm just like, oh no, Soul, no, 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 Soul. I made a misplay. He can Mach Punch me. So I go into Honey, which is what I should have done originally. And he goes for the Mach Punch and gets extra damage off on Honey. And then Honey dies to the... I mean, Honey, uh, Honey lives the Mach Punch, but look how much damage she took. I misplayed there. I was supposed to automatically switch into um, Honey, then go for the fake out. Okay. So, he goes for the protect. I actually went for the high jump kick here. I know it sounds crazy. Some people don't want protect on Vigil. I don't, pr uh, particularly. It sounds crazy, but I went for the high jump kick here because, only because I said, what will I lose? He laughed at me for that. I really didn't care. Cause I had a feeling I could still win this because of Milk Tank's uh, bulk, which is crazy. He goes for a, he goes for a poison jab, which is adaptability. I go for the body slam, and look how much damage that does. He gets powered, so I'm just like, LOL, huh? I'm like, that's pretty funny. I said, I think this is pretty funny too. So I go for another body slam and knock out his beach. I'm like, hmm, that's pretty funny. Actually, what I really wanted to do at that point when I went for the body slam is actually go on for a milk drink so I could handle the um, Raikou. So this match is really close. The, the stones dig into Raikou. Um, but I couldn't risk the adaptability poison job again um, on my milk tank because like, maybe if he got a crit, then after I used milk drink, he might have killed me or even poisoned me. So I'm just like, ah, I might as well got it. So he says GG, he lost. And I'm just like, how? So I'm just like, I go for a Dragon Pulse on Raikou. And I'm just like, that probably wasn't a good play. I should have probably went for Leaf Storm right here. He goes for Hater Power Ice and knocks my uh, soul out. I'm just like, oh my lord. Ugh. It's hard to use my Mega Stuff though because I don't know how to use it yet. I'm still trying to, you know, adjust with it. Um, I then go into Cling to Life, and he goes for E-Speed, I'm just like, ooh, E-Speed, okay. I go for the Shadow Ball, I am no longer Choice Specs in this battle, because I am still tweaking with, uh, tweaking around Cling to Life, and he goes for a, after I go for the next Shadow Ball, he goes for a T-Bolt, and I'm just like, T-Bolt? What? Everyone knows that Jolteon has Volt Absorb, you usually, you usually run Jolteon with Volt Absorb. I was just like, okay. Anyways, for the last hit, I go for the T-Bolt. I didn't go for Shadow Ball just because, just I don't know why, just in case. I have no clue, but just in case. I don't know. You want to get that boost. You want to get that major boost. Um, that stab boost. Anyway, I'm just sitting there just like, are you kidding me? I went for a T-Bolt. He thought, I thought I was going to lose that match because of the E-Speed spam. If anything, he could have E-Speed spammed me. Because the first E-Speed he did, did, um, I believe, 28... It did 28% to my Jolteon, then it did 30% the second time around. So I'm just like, you could have definitely had a more of a chance if you, if you used, um, if you spammed E-Speed. Who in their right mind would Thunderbolt Jolteon? Not, no, 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 I'm not trying to judge, even though I am. I'm not trying to. I'm just like, that's really odd that you would go for a Thunderbolt on Jolteon. First off, it's resisted. Second of all, it has Volt Absorb. That's really odd. I don't know what he was thinking in that, in that play. Maybe he misclicked. I highly doubt it. He laughed at me when I got bopped. When I when I got bopped with his um, he think I I guess he think I didn't predict his visual to go for protect. But I'm like, what would I lose if I go for a high jump kick? I would just lose honey. It wouldn't be that much. It wouldn't be that bad. And I felt like I still had the match, which is really weird because I haven't used. I'm not used to using Miltank, but I knew Miltank would pull through. But um, yeah, if I had soul. If I had Soul use Leaf Storm, I wouldn't have been in the situation where he had these E speeds going off on me like crazy. Even though Leaf Storm is resisted, it would have been easier to go for the Leaf Storm and done more damage. Or even a Giga Drain, just to gain some more HP and then try to get HP Ice, which is a lie because HP Ice is times more effective. Now Soul reminds me of Torterra, so which is my favorite Pokemon, so times more weakness to ice, there you go. 
Anywho, you guys already know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Bob puts the heck out of like button, liking it for any. Wreck it, destroy it, do whatever you want with it. Just don't hit that dislike button because it'll make me really sad. And I don't think you want to make people sad because that's not very nice if you do. Anyway, leave some comments in the section below. Tell me what you enjoyed about this battle. Uh, tell me what you want to. Tell me if you. Hey, how about this? Tell me if you guys want to uh, PvP me on Showdown. Leave some comments. Tell me if you want to PvP me and tell me what tier you want to go to. I guess Ubers isn't bad for me. I wouldn't mind going to Ubers. I just don't personally like it because everyone grabs legendaries if i go to ubers i'm going to actually bring a team that's not consisting of legendaries i'm going to bring stuff like mega lucario shaman shaman is legendary but i mean not like a crazy crazy sh crazy crazy like op like dark ride type thing it's not like that it, it, well shaman could be seen as a dark ride yeah because of the air slash serene grace type thing going on with it i don't know anyway if you guys I, that sounds fun i might actually jump into uber just for a little while and greninja has home there so Greninja's in there sleeping with everybody else. It's just in there sleeping in the Uber stair now. Everyone's just like, oh, Greninja's overpowered. Anyway, why am I go why am I talking about Greninja? <sighs> Back to the point. <laughs> subscribe if you guys enjoy these videos that I'm producing so far. And if your friends love Pokemon and you love Pokemon, I subscribe to this channel as well. And also subscribe to Team Sigma. It is a community channel I am part of. We're a small community channel of PokeTubers, and we're just trying to our best to provide the best quality uh best quality pokemon content at the moment and right now this is the best we can do also an update this is an update for um my capture card uh issue that's going on right now that i haven't got it yet um actually starting from this video point on i am actually getting really close to getting it now so everything is in motion just gotta um get enough money and then send off my other 3ds and then everything is gonna pretty much roll into place I can't wait till I send that thing off because once it's once it's sent off, I'll feel like I didn't waste my money on it. <laughs> well, with that, I'm out of here. You guys know. You guys know. Already know. Uh, I don't know. I'm out. Bye.